Show. And now, our musical host, Maestro Lawrence Welk. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, my good friends. A pleasant good evening and a warm welcome. Our show this evening is titled Hit Songs from the Movies. And what could be more appropriate for an opener than Hooray for Hollywood, one, two, three, four. <laughs> camera back. You feed back. Okay, let's try one. Take one. You ought to be in pictures. You're wonderful to see. You ought to be in pictures. Oh, what a hit you would be. Your voice would thrill a nation. song from the movie, Call Me Mister. That brings back memories of the famous Latin bombshell, Carmen Miranda. Anna Connie, take it away. With the shaking of the bacon leaves me in Ole! First you shake it and you put it here Then you shake it and you put it there Then you shake it and you put it here That's enough, that's enough Take it back, my spine's out of whack There's a great big crack In the back of my sacro A jiggle like a fiddle in my middle Charming little lady and a fine performer. 
A movie based on the life of band leader Eddie Duchin featured this beautiful nocturne by Chopin. And here's our own keyboard artist, Bob Ralston. <laughs> Remember, friends, Samanex is America's number one sleeping aid, and believe me, uh, it really works. Paul Francis Webster wrote the words for this beautiful theme from the movie Dr. Shibako. Let's enjoy it with uh, Guy and Rolna.
beautiful rendition of one of our most requested songs by Guy and Rolna. Ken Dealer, tell the folks about your song. There was a motion picture called Robin and the Seven Hoods, which starred Frank Sinatra and a bunch of his buddies. And here's a song from it. We'd like to dedicate it to all of our friends from Chicago. <laughs> Chicago is my kind of town. Chicago is my kind of people, too. They are people who smile at you. The title song of the movie, Never on Sunday, won an Academy Award back in 1960. The composer was a gentleman named Magnus Hadjadakis, and that's quite a mouthful for a Norwegian from South Dakota. George? Introduce the song Tumbling Lullaby. Tumbleweed, tumbleweeds. <laughs> Tumbling tumbleweeds. Cowboy star Gene Autry introduced the song Tumbling Tumbleweeds in the movie of the same name. I think you folks may be surprised to see how we get so much realism in our show. 
as we join Eva Barber and a friend. dreamed up by our producer and director of the last 25 years, Jim Hobson, along with some amateur stagehands. The movie The Alamo starred one of Hollywood's all-time greats, the late John Wayne. It also gave us this next fine song, and you'll hear it by our own Jim Turner. <laughs> A time to be reaping, a time to be sowing. The green leaves of summer are calling me home. It was good to be young then in the season of plenty. When the catfish were jumping as high as the sky, a time just for planting, a time just for plowing, a time to be courting a girl of your own. It was good. To be close to the earth and to stand by your wife at the moment of birth. It was good to be young then, to be close to the earth. Now the green of summer are calling me by the March King, John Philip Sousa, was also the title of the movie based on his life. 
And of course, you folks all know I'm talking about the Stars and Stripes Forever. Gentlemen, one, two, three, four. <laughs> playing that song again. Now let's take a moment for the movies coming up right. The program of songs from the movies continues. George Cates conducts the band and singers in the beautiful theme from one of the greatest movies of all time, Gone with the Wind.
Tonight I've got a beautiful song for you that was nominated for an Academy Award in 1969. We hope you all like it. <laughs> Clouds are so low, you can touch them and so open your arms, Bonnie Jean. Jean, Jean, you're young and alive. Come out of your half dream, dream. the hill Come in to my arms Bonnie Jean Till the sheep in the valley come home my way Till the stars fall around me and find me alone Till the sun comes a singing I'll still away from our theme of movie songs to wish a happy Passover to our many friends of the Jewish faith who are celebrating this holiday. And as a special salute, Bobby and Elaine bring you a folk dance of Israel. Cowboy gave us this next song. Let's enjoy it with the Aldrich sisters and the Oddwell twins. Every 
guys talking at me. and the Otwell Twins. For this show, Arthur Duncan picked a song from Finian's Rainbow. And as you'll see, it's really far out. The song, That Old Devil Moon. And next, my friends, the lovely voice of Kathy Sullivan and this beautiful award-winning song, Joe Lavoti Sets the Mood. Joe? <laughs> Memories 
the corners of my mind Misty watercolor memories Of the way we were Scattered pictures Of the smiles we left behind Smiles we gave to one another For the way we were Can it be that it was all so simple then? Or has time rewritten every line? If we had the chance to do it all Sandy Gale and Mary Lou recall a song made popular by the famous Andrews sisters in the movie Buck Privates. This next movie song won a Grammy back in 1963. 
and it's always high on Jimmy Roberts' request list. Jimmy, let's hear it one more time. <laughs> is a love I give to you alone more than the simple words I try to say I only live to love you more each day Laughing, weeping, longer than always is a long, long time. But far beyond forever, you'll be mine. I know I never lived before, and my heart is very sure. Gentlemen, the great dancer Gene Kelly really made movie history with his famous dance routine to the song Singing in the Rain. Jack Emmel and all of our singers and dancers give it their own special treatment. Thank <laughs> you. 
Young boys and girls. And here's the word. Well, friends, that's our show. As always, it's been a great pleasure and privilege to entertain for you. Please join us next week for our annual Easter show. Now keep a song in your heart and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Mary Lou, may I? The drama continues on Prisoner as the arrival of Rosie's baby is overshadowed by news of Bill's death. Monday night at 11 here on Channel 5. Now stay tuned for America's Athletes 1980 next.